how many times? How many times? I, I, you know, it, look, we're, we're, we're bearing down a month away from the election. And uh, I, I, it's shocking to me that we have a media that is missing in action, that is absolutely asleep at the wheel, not doing their jobs, not performing their constitutionally protected duty uh, be in the free press. Donald Trump, they continue to give Donald Trump the benefit of the doubt, like he's just a normal political candidate, when he consistently, as a pattern, as a standard operating procedure, threatens not just political opponents, but their supporters. Donald Trump laughing and joking just this weekend, yesterday, in Wisconsin, about raise your hand if you're a Kamala Harris supporter. Actually, don't do that. I don't want anybody to get hurt. Chuckle, chuckle, ha, ha, ha. And this is, like I said, a pattern. Just, just the, the 7th of September, I talked about a true social post where Donald Trump threatened long-term prison sentences for not just politicians who oppose him, not just people who work for the campaigns, but actual donors. You might remember the video where I made a political contribution live or live to tape um, and screen recorded myself doing it as kind of a fuck you to Donald Trump, as kind of a come and get me. I will not be bullied. I will not be intimidated. And I hope that, that the same would be for you. And the same goes for this. Uh, let me remind you what he said here. This is, I'll just read the parts that are, that are, that are relevant. When I win in all caps, those people that cheated will be prosecuted to the fullest extent of the law, which will include long-term prison sentences so that this depravity of justice does not happen again. Please beware that this legal exposure extends to lawyers, political operatives, donors, Illegal voters and corrupt election officials, those involved in unscrupulous behavior will be sought out, caught, and prosecuted at levels, unfortunately, never seen before in our country. So we can stop giving Donald Trump the benefit of the doubt that he is just a standard candidate, or he's just misspeaking, or he's just making a joke. Because coupled with all of the other things we know, all of the other things we've heard, all of the other things we've witnessed with our eyes come out of his mouth, we know his propensity to violence. And this moment, uh, it's not just the moment that he says it, but it's also, I believe, uh, intentional that he talks about law enforcement first and then talks about the violence at the hands of his supporters on Kamala Harris's supporters. Watch this. And uh, we also won 100% of the Fraternal Order of Police, the largest, 400,000. And I do believe that from sheriffs, and from law enforcement, and from Border Patrol, and from ICE, from anything having to do with uh, law and order, I think we're at 100 percent. We've got, like, everybody, which tells you something, you know, which tells you they don't like people that were in charge of defund the police. She was in charge of defund the police. Anybody, she's a radical left. She's further left than crazy Bernie Sanders, okay? That's pretty fun. No, she's considered worse than Pocahontas, worse than... She's worse than Pocahontas. She's worse than Bernie Sanders. How the hell do you people, are you, is anybody, okay, is there anybody here that's going to vote for Lion Kamala? Please raise your hand. Please raise your hand. Actually, I should say don't raise your hand. It would be very dangerous. We don't want to see anybody get hurt. Please don't raise your hand. There's a whole bunch there. A whole bunch there. But I don't think it's by design. I don't think it's by accident. I think it's absolutely by design that Donald Trump mentions, and we also won 100% of the fraternal order of police, the largest 400,000. And I do, I do believe for that from the sheriffs and from law enforcement and from border patrol and from ICE, from everything, from anything, excuse me, having to do with law and order, I think we're at 100%. Says the felon. Says the convicted felon that the cops are on our side. 
And then he says, I think we're at 100%. We've got like everybody, which tells you something, you know? I agree. I think it does tell you something. It should tell you something in the audience that you should question what is it about police in the United States that they are in lockstep with Donald Trump, a man who is a convicted felon, who is not the law and order candidate? It, it should generate thought in you about your relationship, your ideas about policing in the United States. Look, I'm not an ACAB guy, all cops are bastards, but I might be an MCAB guy most of them and it's not just a few bad apples because if you've got good apples who aren't calling out the bad apples those are bad fucking apples and then he goes into his nonsense about kamala harris being in charge of defund the police <laughs> kamala harris is in charge of it what do you do what do you do vice president harris I'm in charge of defund the police. And then to the threat. Actually, I should say, don't raise your hand. It would be very dangerous. We don't want to see anybody get hurt. Please don't raise your hand as he chuckles and laughs and the audience cheers. Why would anybody be afraid for their safety? Why would anybody be at risk of getting hurt by just announcing, yeah, I'm not, you're not the candidate I'm going to vote for. I'm going to vote for the other candidate. Riddle me that, MAGA world. Riddle me that, coupled with the, the, the long prison sentences promised to donors. And where's the media? Crickets. Crickets from the media, nothing. They should be drilling down on this in repetition. This should be at the top of every news program that Donald Trump continues to threaten Kamala Harris supporters, making light of violence against them. The same man that attempted a violent overthrow of the United States government, who's promised to be a dictator on day one, who said that we need to terminate all rules and regulations and articles up to and including the Constitution of the United States. It shouldn't be crickets from the media. It's a five alarm fire. What do you think? I invite your participation to this conversation. You can call, leave me a voicemail, 714-576-4054. And of course, as always, you can email me daily at dollamore.com. You can also just comment below, get your opinion on the record. We can mix it up there. We can disagree agreeably, if indeed we do disagree. Um, if you want to help support the work, you can become a channel member, click that join button, see what's involved. You can also go over to patreon.com slash I doubt it podcast, $2 a month may not seem like a lot, but if we marshal the size of this audience, you can help support independent media in a big way. I appreciate it. Follow me on social media. If you're there and you want to be miserable with me because social media is a, uh, scourge on our society, <laughs> joking, but yeah, not really joking. At Dollamore is where you can find me. Uh, I would appreciate it. <clears throat> I'm losing my voice. Uh, feeling better, though. Thanks for all the, the well wishes. Last week was... <clears throat> Bernie Page got a lot worse than me. A lot more sick than me. Again. Uh, we're getting better, though. It's good. I love and appreciate you. Be genuine. Take care of one another.